What's up peeps and poops and welcome back. So today we're actually being joined by this little guy because he just will not quit screaming while I'm trying to film. Today we're actually going to be learning all about CBG and I mean this thing's giving me a handful so let's just get going. Cannabis, a plant well known for its psychoactive and therapeutic properties, contains a variety of cannabinoids that have captured much of the attention recently, including CBD, THC, and CBG. CBG in particular is of interest because it can actually convert to either THC or CBD. This conversion process is influenced by many variables. First, it's essential to understand what CBG is and its role in the cannabis plant. CBG or cannabigerol is a non-psychoactive cannabinoid that's often found in lower concentrations than other cannabinoids in the cannabis plant. It's considered a minor cannabinoid, but is gaining popularity in research due to its therapeutic properties. CBG is often referred to as the stem cell of cannabinoids because it's the precursor compound that other cannabinoids are synthesized from, including THC and CBD. One of the variables that determine whether CBG is going to be converted to THC or CBD are the enzymes that are present inside the plant. Specifically, the enzymes THCA synthase and CBDA synthase play a pivotal role in determining the conversion. THCA and CBDA are the acidic precursors to THC and CBD. The enzymes THCA synthase and CBDA synthase are responsible for converting CBG into THCA and CBDA as a part of the natural biosynthetic process of the plant. Depending on the type of concentration of these enzymes, CBG is more likely to be converted to either THC or CBD. Jumping in the middle of the video as always, I ask you to please like, subscribe, ring the bell, buy me coffee, Patreon, also TikTok. If you want to support me, you can go down there and you can actually buy my series. It's like eight bucks per season. I'm working on season three right now. And of course, any support is appreciated, even if it's just some kind words downstairs in the comments. Downstairs? All right, back to cannabis. Another variable that influences the conversion of CBG into THC or CBD is the environmental conditions of the plant. Cannabis plants are sensitive to environmental factors including temperature, humidity, light exposure, and nutrient availability, among others. These environmental factors can influence the production and concentration of different cannabinoids including THC and CBD. Generally, higher temperatures and lower humidity levels promote the conversion of CBG into THC, while lower temperatures and higher humidity levels promote the conversion of CBG into CBD. Genetics is another factor that can influence the conversion of CBG into THC or CBD. Different strains of cannabis contain different concentrations of CBG, THC, and CBD, among other cannabinoids. Some strains are bred to have high levels of THC, while others are bred to have high levels of CBD. These genetic differences can affect the conversion of CBG into THC or CBD depending on the specific enzymes and environmental factors involved in the plant's biosynthetic process. Another thing to consider is the stage of the plant's life cycle, which can also influence the conversion of CBG into either THC or CBD. Cannabis plants go through several growth stages from seedling to vegetative to flowering. CBG is synthesized early in the plant's life cycle and then converted into other cannabinoids as it matures. Depending on the growth stage of the plant when it's harvested or used for extraction, the concentration and composition of cannabinoids can vary. This variability can influence the conversion of CBG into THC or CBD based on the enzyme availability and environmental conditions present during each growth stage. So we hope that this has helped you understand CBG a little bit better. If you have any questions, you can always ask me down in the comments. Any suggestions down in the comments. You can put hate mail down in the comments. That's fine. You can also send me pretty pictures of like little kitties and puppies and stuff. Da well, I guess you can't really send that one down in the comics. But you can send me links. Alright, until next time, I love you guys. Deuces. What are you doing?